Have you been wondering to yourself, what happens when I don't have a right triangle? Law of sines and cosines. Um, it doesn't mean that you always use law of sines or cosines. I'm just going, I'm going to show you what the law of sine is, and then I'm going to use it. Now, in a non-pandemic year, we would use it to solve the whole triangle. So we would find every missing side and every missing angle, usually three things. Because it's a pandemic year, we're just going to, we're just going to only do the first step. We're going to find the one, the one thing that I want you to find using the law of sines or cosines. This might take two pages. Um, I've already done this less than three times, and it took a page and a half the first time and uh, about two pages almost three the second time so I'm gonna try to keep it short um, it might just be like three quarters of one page and three quarters of another page but I want to keep them separated because they're different um, but they both work for non right triangles they work for any triangle technically um, but we use them for non right triangles which means triangles that are not a right triangle because we have things for right triangles Pythagorean theorem and Sokotoa so we don't need those we have this non-right triangles. <clears throat> Law of sines are used for non-right triangles and it's usually when we know, actually, it's going to be when we know an angle across from a side or if you're looking at a triangle, if it's like an angle side angle or side angle angle triangle, then we'll use law of sines. Law of sines or law of cos, law of sines. Okay, so here's what law of sines is. I can take sine of any angle over the side across from it and it'll be equal to sine of another angle and the side across from it. Here's the sucky part about sine of, law of sines is that I actually can do the third side too. I can do this for any side in the triangle, any side, any angle. Um, but you don't need to use all three at once. This is not like a triple fraction. It's not a double equals, double equation. I would just cover up the part that I don't want. So if I only care about B's and C's, I'm going to ignore A exists. It doesn't exist anymore. Whoops, where'd it go? Project or object impermanence. Um, so in this, in every case, uh, a capital letter is an angle and a lowercase is a side. And it's specifically the side across from the angle. Okay. They're pairs. I think I've told you this already, but I just wanted to make sure because I've done this freaking lesson three times and I wanted to make sure that I told you. Okay, so let's do the first example. So here's my triangle. <clears throat> I really want to find the measure of angle B. This is what I'm looking for. This is my unknown. And uh, I currently have that this is angle A. So across from angle A is uh, side A. Across from angle C is side C. And across from angle B is side B. So I know that those things are true. So I don't know A and I don't care about A. So I'm going to ignore that A exists in my law of sines. So the law of sines that I'm going to use is that sine of B over B equals sine of C over C. And I already know three of those things. So I know a uh, little b, so I know, let's see. Okay, so sine of B over little b, which is 11, equals sine of C, which is 115 over 20, which is little c. And then what I normally do is I just cross multiply and divide. I don't have to, um, but it always works. So I'm just going to show that method to you. So I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to do 11 times sine of 115. Oops, degrees. Equals 20 times sine of b. And then I'm going to um, multiply this all together and then divide by 20. So I'm going to divide by 20. And I'm going to figure out what this whole thing is. So that whole thing happens to be 0.498. If you don't get that number, make sure you're in uh, degrees and make sure you're using parentheses. So this isn't B. This is what sine of B is. So we know from, I don't know, two units ago, two, not two units, but ah, ah. Um, we know from a couple lessons ago that when we want to find the angle measure, we have to use inverse sine. So sine inverse of 0.498 will cross out this sign, so it's just B. So let's figure out what sine inverse of this is. Somebody tell me why I did that. Um, B equals 29.9. Done. Um, okay. 
I'm going to show you one more example. It's a little bit easier. So, and then I'm going to show you law of cosines. So I want to find the length of side A. This is side A. This is side B. This is side C. So um, I know the B's and I want the A's. I'm going to ignore that the C's exist. So I'm going to use the law of sines where it says sine of A over A equals sine of B over B. I'm going to set that up really quick. And then we'll solve this. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before with uh, cross multiplication. So it's A times sine of 25 equals 15 times sine of 107. And then I'm going to divide both these sides by sine 25. I'm going to figure out what this is because A is going to equal whatever this whole thing is. I get 33.9. If you didn't get 33.9, make sure you're in degrees and make sure you have a lot of parentheses that you need. Every time you see a parenthesis in here, do a parenthesis in there. Also, you can press enter after all the math and then, you know, it'll be fine. Okay, um, I'm going to, I am going to take a second page. I'm going to do the law of cosines on the second page. So we're just going to do this together. We got this. Let's go. Here's the law of cosines. It works for non-right triangles, just like law of sines. But when law of sines, you did know an angle across from a side, the law of cosines, you're not going to know the angle across from a side. So this is where you have side, 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 or side, angle, side. Okay. So any side squared equals the other two sides squared. But where's the cosine part? It's right here. Minus two times the two sides times cosine of the angle across from the side that you either know or want. This makes an A sandwich. Everything else in here is the other two letters. And you can do this with any letter combination. So I'm going to show you with the B's and the C's. So I can do the same thing with B squared. Here's my B sandwich. And here's my C sandwich. But I can do this with any letter. If I had X, Y, and Z, I could do X, Y, Z, Y, Z, X, right? It's going to make a sandwich. It's going to have the same, uh, same thing here where this is the side across from this angle. And capital letters are angles and lowercase letters are sides. This uh, intensity is why we prefer law of sines. Um, if in a different world we were doing to solve the whole triangle, we would usually do law of cosines and then law of sines and then, um, well, law of cosines and then triangle angle theorem and then law of sines is usually what we would do. We're not going to do that. Don't worry. All right. Is it going to bother you that this is example three? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, if this is side A, this is angle, sorry, if this is angle A, this is side A, if this is angle C, this is side C. So um, I'm going to make a B sandwich because I want B and I already know B. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to use the law of sines. That's the B sandwich. Sorry, law of cosines. Here's the great thing about example one and the truck outside is that once I plug all the numbers in, it's going to be two steps. It's going to be great. Example four is going to be like a little bit longer, but that's okay. So for this one, I don't know B. I want to find it. Um, A is 14. C is 11. You're trying to knock my notebook over like that? Get out of here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Minus 2 times 14 times 11 times cosine. Stop. Everybody say bye, Rocket. <laughs> cosine of 34 degrees. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to type this all in. If you're using your phone, stick around, but I'm going to hold, hold on, watch. So I just plug that all in like this, and I took the square root of it, and I got 7.85. Um, if you have an iPhone or an Android, here's how we're going to do this on the calculator. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, these two first. So we're going to do 14 squared plus 11 squared because it's going to be fine in here. Um, if you have an Android, you can just keep going. 2 times 14 times 11 times cosine of um, 34. If you have an iPhone, it, um, it, you'll have to do the 34 and then the cosine, but it should still work. In case it doesn't, what I would do is I would do parentheses around this part and then parentheses around this part. So that should help you. So I get the same 61.65 I got before. Okay. Um, let's do another one that's just slightly harder and then we'll be done. Okay, so we're going to find the measure of angle A. This is a side 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 triangle. So this is little a, this is little b, this is little c. 
And because I want the measure of angle A, I'm going to use the A sandwich. Sorry about the train, good gravy. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times cosine of A. Don't you dare. Okay, I know. So, I know. So, 20, 20 squared equals 12 squared plus 27 squared minus 2 times 12 times 27 times cosine of I don't know. I don't know A. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to calculate th uh, this part, this part, and this part. And then I have to solve this like I'm solving an algebra problem. So here's are the really gross numbers I got. <clears throat> and the reason I'm going to do this, I, I'm doing this step by step, is because I so many people will do 873 minus 648. You can't do that because it's 648 times cosine of A. And PEMDAS is still a thing, even though we're in honors geometry, especially since we're in honors geometry, I should say. So I'm going to subtract 873 to the other side. So I get negative 327. Boom. Nope. 473. I don't know what I was thinking. Negative 648 times cosine of A. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the negative 648. And the reason we're doing this is because cosine of a is the unknown, so that's like our x value, um, and then we have to we have to make sure that that x value is is left on to its own devices. 0.7299 cosine of a. So then I'm just going to do cosine inverse because that's how we find the angle measure. That was really silly of me. And then A equals, I don't know, cosine inverse of this really gross number. I'm going to leave this whole thing in my calculator. Um, and I get, oh, cosine inverse. I did cosine and it said it was almost 1 and that was confusing. 43.1 degrees. We did it. All right, again, in a non-pandemic time, we would do set law of cosines and then law of sines. And then usually triangling with some theorem somewhere in there. But we're not going to do that. No, no, no. That became a 20-minute presentation, and I just decided to quit. So peace out. Okay, uh, I'll see you soon in class. And email me if you have any questions. Literally, I will do this all day long. Like, I'll, I'll do these problems over and over again. I'll help you. I got you. We got this together. Okay, bye.